I just got done filming my holiday sparkle tutorial. I hope you guys end up loving it because it took entirely too long and I'm praying that the footage ends up being good because I'll cry if not because it took so long. Um, I just, I took my top off already because I was just hot. It's blazing hot in here. I don't know why. I'm just like on fire and it's middle of November. Nonsense, I tell you. Anyways, I also filmed a Bath and Body Works haul because I got some new holiday candles. Yep, I have a problem. I counted my candles from this year together. It's 10 candles of holiday candles only. It's not that bad. So like five, I just purchased five this year so and I had five from last year still. Yeah. So I just wanted to say a quick hi, show you that I was filming, and I'll see you later. Can I just say that I'm so proud of myself. I got 45 minutes of footage down to 7 minutes and 33 seconds. Oh yeah, buddy. And this is the tutorial. It's already up, and I will link it down below. Good morning, guys. Um, I'm up really, really early because I have a meeting for Sephora this morning, and I have to work right after it. Yeah, thrilled. But I didn't want to go over my whole makeup because I'm just so tired and I'm running late. But I did want to show you my lip combo. I'm using the Prestige Waterproof Lip Liner in Angora. Lined my whole lips with that. And then I'm using this Clinique lipstick and I will have to find the number for you because this was f from gratis. I was given this and there's no number or anything on it. But it's one of their like the, the glossy lipsticks they have. And it's just a really beautiful berry shade that gives me some shine and moisture to my lips. Um, so yeah, that's what I have on. I did contour today with my Chanel Tan de Soleil bronzer because um, I just wanted to do a cream contour today, so I did do that. My highlight is from the Anastasia Contour Palette, and then my eye's pretty simple. It's all Makeup Geek shadows. Um, my brows, my brows always give me such an issue. I think this side is more than this side, so got to fix that now before I go to work. Bye. So look where I went again today. <laughs> I just did a Bath and Body Works haul, but they had these new, the new scent that I've really been loving, the A Thousand Wishes. This little perfume for only five dollars, so I got that in this cap. I don't know if you can really tell. But it's more of like a pinky rose gold kind of coloring. And then I think it's so pretty. So I got that. And then I had a coupon for a free item. So I ended up getting the body wash as well. And then I got these really beautiful soap covers that they're like snowflakes with bling in the middle. But I feel like I could use these all year round with my decor. It just works. Because they almost look like flowers or snowflakes. So I got two of them, and that's this is what it looks like when the soap is actually on it. So I'm going to have this one in my kitchen and this one in my be master bedroom. So I got some more gratis I wanted to share with you guys. We had our holiday meeting this week, and we got some gratis from that, and some just has accumulated. So first thing I wanted to share is this Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. Um, it's their detoxifying hydration mask, and it's very cooling, and it's literally like a jelly, um, and it's really nice if you put this in the fridge, and it's so fun and cooling when you do it that way. It's really good for someone who lives in hot weather climate like I do. Um, got some NARS. Got this Liberty blush that I'm going to put in my Z palette, and the, what is this? Angelica lip gloss, really pretty pink. And got a Dior Skin Flash Concealer Pen. It's in shade three, so not sure if it'll work for me yet. We'll see. Got another one of my little mini beauty blenders and solid cleanser. This is my favorite cleanser. Then lots of tester lippies. So these are, I'm really excited for these two, the Dior's. Um, so obviously it's not the fancy packaging of Dior because it's the ones that you put in testers, but I'm fine with it. It's the Dior Addict Lipstick, and this is in shade 971. It's the one right here on the right. And the one to the left of that is this Dior Addict in 422. So I'm excited about that. Then the one to the left of that is this Clinique shade 
in 427. Then next to that, that pink shade there um, is, which one was that? It was this one here. This is the Guerlain in number 164. This one doesn't have a cap, so I'm not sure how well that's, this is going to stay without anything covering it, but this is a Givenchy Mystic Pink is the color, number seven, and that is the one, the second one in there. Then the one that's like barely anything is the NARS Pencil, and it's the color Frivolous. It's pretty sheer. I mean, I guess it's a good one when you're not wearing a lot of makeup. So lots of lippies, and then I got the Cover FX Calming Primer, full size, a No Dark Shadows Complexion Enhancer Pencil. I'm really excited about this. We got a Sephora brush, and it's a Pro Full Coverage Airbrush in number 53. Cannot wait to try that. Also got an Anastasia Pro Pencil. This is shade, it's a primer, um, eyeshadow primer, and kind of like, you know, it fixes up your brow area. It's in shade two though. It might be a little dark for me, but we'll see. Got a Cover FX uh, powder as well in P40. Not sure if that's gonna really match me, but we'll see. Might just put it in my kit if not. And then we also got this Tweezerman Studio Brow Shaping Scissors and Brush. So that's pretty cool. And that's all my gratis. Okay, so for my makeup today, I used the Leo Ellie BB Cream. And what else did I use? Oh, I did use a new concealer today. My LA Girl Pro Conceal in, what color is this? Cream Ivory. Um, I don't know, a lot of people are raving about this. And this is the second time I've worn it. The first time it wore off really badly and I had set it. So we'll see how it does today because I have a 10 or a 9 hour shift today. I um, also use my Too Faced Bronzer in Chocolate Soleil. For my blush, I use this NARS blush on the bottom here. And it's called Liberty. And I do not think it's limited edition. I just got it in gratis. And then for my highlight and my under eye setting concealer, I used my contour kit from Anastasia. For my eyes, I used this Tarte Cream Shadow in Rich Brown first. And then I used my Urban Decay Diamond Dog Shadow. I promise I'll be doing a tutorial on this in the future. I just want to get my holiday looks out first, but I will do a, a tutorial with this. Then on my lips, I pulled a Chanel... Um, this is like a lip stain out. I haven't worn this in so long and I remember getting it last fall and loved it. And it's in the shade Pink Topaz, oh no, Rose Topaz. So this is the stain here and then this is a gloss. And then I also lined my lips with the It Cosmetics liner in um, light medium nude. And I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. I have no liner on. Um, I don't really go over my mascara anymore. Oh, I gotta fix that. <laughs> Do you see that? Um, I don't really go over my mascara anymore just because I use the same three mascaras over and over right now. Um, but isn't this lip so pretty? I love it so much. And I do really like the blush color too. I don't know what's going... Do you see how I have like this red line around my neck? It looks like someone tried to kill me during my sleep. I have no idea. It's like a rash or something. Do you see that? It's bad. I put um, bio oil on it and I'm just hoping that it goes away. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Hey guys, so I thought I would show you a little update on my Erin Condren. I changed my cover for the winter. And let me show you what my November looks like. I decorated my November monthly calendar like this. Has little stickers, both two different or a couple different washi tapes, lots of different little stickers, some more washi tape. Going to the Nutcracker Ballet next weekend. This is Harley in his little reindeer ears. <laughs> Thanksgiving and then the little hearts are where I get paid and then all my little bills. I have one bill left for the month. Wah wah. 
But okay, so that's my monthly view. And then this was the first week in November or October and November. Second week have some, you know, little dates in Wesley Sephora. And this is this week. So this week's or no, that was last week's. So I still need to take this out. I just updated this week's. So that was last week's. It's kind of boring. I didn't really use it as much last week. But this week I'm using it a ton. So tonight I'm going to dinner with Elle, Elle is for Living, and Crystal Lynn here on YouTube. So we're going to be going out tonight. I have a list of a few things I wanted to get done today. And tomorrow I'm going to be doing a DIY project with Mama Bee. And these are just all the times I work at Sephora this week. And then I have some more stickers on the bottom and just a little bit of washi tape this week. And then also I'm going to the mystery castle. I do like a little castle um, with some of my girlfriends. So that's what that is. So yeah, I'm doing a little more than I usually do this week. And the next week is Thanksgiving. So I have the give thanks right here. A little turkey. I didn't do much decorating on this month yet, but yep. So that's it for right now. I just wanted to show you a little update. You know that I keep mine pretty clean. I don't do too much like scrapbooking stuff because um, I know a lot of people do that, but I might get into it next year. But for right now, I like it to be nice and clean. Okay. See you guys later. Okay. So for my makeup today, I used Leo Ellie BB Cream, Too Faced Bronzer and Chocolate Soleil, Rockateur Blush. Highlight is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Look at that beauty. Oh my gosh. It's probably my most beautiful highlight. I feel like it's so gorgeous. This is in Superb. It's the extra, oh, it's the extra dimension skin finish. Then I also used, oh hi, <laughs> these two. So um, Dim Light on the far left and the far right here is called Radiant Light. I used both of those as well. Then for my eye look, I used the bronze Mally stick. Looks like it's more, it looks like rose gold more than bronze. I don't know why it's called bronze, but I use that as my base. And then I used L'Oreal Infallible Shadow and Amber Rush. And then for my crease, I used number 13 from oh, what the freak is that place? Morphe. Morphe number 13, that one right there. And I also used Coco Bear, which is the one in the middle on the top there, from Makeup Geek. Then for my lashes, I actually did a different combo today. I used this Hourglass Film Noir mascara, which I love. It's beautiful. And then I also used my Marc Jacobs Blacker mascara for my bottom lashes and on top of the Hourglass. For my lip, I used the MAC... Lip Pencil in Boldly Bare, and my little mini lipstick of Hourglass, and this is in, is it Whisper? No, Grace. It's just a really pretty nude, but your lips are better kind of nude. It's not too light of a nude. And I'll show you what it looks like. And here's what it looks like. I trimmed my brow on this side and I'm liking my brow so much more this week. Makes me so happy. By the way, it's finally a little bit chillier here. Chilly meaning like 60, 65 to 70 degrees during the day and around the 50s at night, but I'll take it. I'm just wearing a pink um, sweatshirt from Victoria's Secret. And yeah, I actually really love this rose gold eye. I've done something similar already in tutorials, so I probably won't do another one. I do a lot of rose gold looks just because I love it so much. Um, but I am really liking this lip. By the way, I completely filled in my lips with the Boldly Bare and then put this lipstick on. So now I'm going to change and I'm going to be going to dinner with Elle and Crystal. So I cannot wait to see them. We've been trying to plan this for like a week or so now. or No, not a week. A couple weeks it's been trying to plan it. So I'm so excited to see them. I just had my hair in a sock bun today. And I'm going to go get ready. Hi guys, we're at Cheddar's for dinner. I'm with Elle Hi. and Crystal. You guys know their channels. Look at our yummy food. Big chickens and quesadillas. Okay, we're gonna eat our food now. So a few P.O. Box goodies I wanted to share with you guys. 
So first off, I got into my November Ipsy bag. This is the last Ipsy bag I am getting. I canceled it. I just don't use the products enough to warrant spending 10 bucks a month. I do like this bag this month though. Really pretty. Okay, so I got the Morocco Argan Oil Hairspray by Mark Anthony. Probably the only thing in this that I'm at, like I'm happy about is the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics because um, I've used this and, and really enjoyed it. So got a little travel size of that. This is a liner from Star Looks in an olive shade. Probably will give that away. Won't use it. I know I won't. Um, then this is Birch Sap Moisturizing Lotion. Won't use that. We'll end up giving that away. And then this full size Wonder Lip Paint. And let's see if I can see the shade in Mad Splatter. Can we say copying OCC Lip Tar? <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, this is a full size. Probably, will, even though this is really nice, I'm probably going to give it away because I don't like the applicator that these come with. So I might give this to my best friend if she likes the color. If not, it will go in future giveaways. Then I got this really cute card. Trick or treat. I obviously haven't been to my P.O. box in a hot second, but I wanted to share it with you. Thank you, Sandra, so much. I'm going to be sending you a card as well, but I really, really appreciated this, so thank you. Super cute. I'm totally going to keep that. And then Kristen from the Kristen K. channel here on YouTube sent me some Atelier. I think that's how you say it. Atelier, I think cologne. She sent me two of the samples that she's already tried before and she really likes and I wanted to try them and they come with these really pretty postcards. So um, the first one is vanilla and the other is orange sanguine. sanguine. I think that's how you say it. I've already tried them both together and they smell so so good. So thank you Kristen. I'm super excited about that and this is just a little note she left with that. Hey guys, I'm on my way to see Mama Bee. We're gonna go to Home Goods or something and go to lunch. I am wearing the same sweatshirt as yesterday. I only wore it for two hours yesterday and I changed my outfit to see Ellen Crystal. We had a lot of fun. We actually spent four hours together at dinner talking and time just flew by. So um, it was a lot of fun and we didn't take a picture. We always forget, like me and Crystal always forget to take pictures when we see each other, but it was a lot of fun. Um, I didn't film my makeup today because it's pretty natural. I used It Cosmetics BB, oh no, It Cosmetics CC cream. Um, just a little bronzer, very light eye, just a little bit of my crease. It's creme brulee from Makeup Geek in my crease. And then I have the Infallible Shadow and Amber Rush again on my lids because I'm just obsessed with it this week. Um, and then just like a pinky gloss on my lips, so nothing major. I am really loving the Hourglass Film Noir Mascara though. I just have like a little mini of it and I'm really liking it. It's like makes your lashes very like feathery. I hope you can see that. Anyways, like I said, I'm on my way to see Mama Bee for the first time this week. So we've both been we've both been pretty busy. And today is my last day off for the week. The rest of the week I I am um, I'm gonna be working. So yeah. I'll see you guys later. Mama Bee and I are at Paradise Bakery having some lunch outside. And Missy's letting me taste her broccoli cheddar soup. Let's see her, how this, it is. This is her first time eating it. Mm, Dom, Melissa, right? And Melissa's not getting it back. <laughs> hey guys, we're at TJ Maxx. Mom's running away because <laughs> she doesn't want to show everybody. I wanted to show you that Deep Steep is here at TJ Maxx. They had a lot of different products from them. And yeah, I just wanted to share that with you and I'll do a haul later. Guys, look who I found at Home Goods, Lamb Chop. Anyone remember Lamb Chop? This used to be one of my favorite shows. So we're back. I just ate dinner at my grandparents and I'm gonna show you my haul when I get home, but I wanted to show you some of Mama Bee's cute things we got at TJ Maxx for her tree. Her house is much more country than mine, so these are super cute for her tree. There's these little gingerbread guys. 
Yeah. There's a reindeer and a Santa. Yeah, because I'm a little bit country. Oh boy. That was corny, but I love you still. Everyone else will love it though. <laughs> and then here's some snowflakes. And there's one pillow over here too. That's super cute. The lighting's not so good in here right now, but you can kind of see it. We'll look at Brian's bed. Oh, did you do it? Okay, I'll show them Brian's new bed. And she got this new kind of quilted bedding from Home Goods. The the pillow shams and that pillow were sold separately, and then this was separate. Hope you can kind of see. It has like reindeers and snowflakes on it. I think you it looks like really it? nice. It's very country. I love it. Okay. Very nice. Hey guys, so I just wanted to let you know my Target and TJ Maxx haul, I'm going to actually film a separate video of that. So it should be up probably next week. Um, but I just wanted to show you, I did get a few other Erin Condren goodies in the mail. I ended up making my own little sticker sheet of just things that, you know, I need, I like to mark often. Hope you can see that. And you get to choose the color. It's all person personizable. Is that a word? Yeah, I think that's what it is. <laughs> and then I got some designer sticker sheets. Um, so you can cut these to whatever size you want and put them on your planner like so. I'm going to actually do them in like squares on the days that I don't have anything marked so that it looks like kind of more, I don't know, more designed and festive. So there's lots of fun. Why does my camera keep going blurry? There we go. Lots of fun different patterns. And then I just got another cover and back for the new year. But I'm using the one that's like a mint with the silver and I love it so much that I got it in pink. Okay, I'm gonna go film the Target and TJ Maxx haul now. And this is what happens to my floor after filming a haul. <laughs> it's a ginormous hot mess at the moment. Hey guys, we're looking at these curtains. Obviously, we wouldn't put it up that way. We're just looking at the color. And it looks fine. I don't think I like and it. And Melissa hates it. She's all fussy. <laughs> it matches It matches the carpet. <laughs> it matches the carpet, everyone. She's cuckoo. <laughs> She's cracking me up. Okay, look at it next to the okay. carpet. It's darker okay, and it, not everybody. the same. This is her bulb. Mom, why did you have to take this my bulb off my tree? <laughs> people okay I have to go because I'm dying so for today's makeup I'm wearing Leo Ellie BB cream I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer um, my highlight is Moonlight from Cover Effects I also used to diffuse my contour um, dim light here in my ambient powder palette from Hourglass blush is this Tarte blush in magic and then for my eye look I used Copper Plague for MAC and I'm using this silver um, from L'Oreal Infallible, and it's in the shade Liquid Diamond. And then on top of that, I'm wearing the Lorac 3D Liquid Luster Drops in Diamond as well. And then for my lip, I'm wearing the liner in Hot Red. Oops, dropped my luster drops. Hot Red, I think it is. Let me make sure. Yeah, and then F-Bomb from Urban Decay. And this is what it looks like. I'm not a big cool toned with a red lip. I'm not a big fan of this, but I have to wear a silver sparkly kind of eye with a red lip for work today. So it is what it is. I feel like I look a little clownish. Um, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> So that's what it is today. I hope you guys like it. I do like the eyes. I just don't like it with a red lip, but that's what it looks like. I really love the luster drops. I'm kind of obsessed with them now. Hey guys, I just got my Starbucks this morning and a sandwich for later. I'm going to eat it later. Um, 
I'm going to get my nails done right now. I know, I'm excited. I'm getting good acrylic on. I know you guys haven't seen me with nails for like over a year now, I think, or maybe just a year. So I'm super excited. I'm going to go meet my friend Janelle and Sarah. They work with me as well. So we're all going to go get our nails done. They are just getting fills. They've had nails for a hot second, but I haven't for so long, so I'm excited. It's going to be cutting it close to work, but it's okay. <laughs> so I'll show you what they look like after. And here they are. She did such a good job. They're nice and thin. They're not too long. And she only took an hour to do full set and gel. So, um, so yeah, I love them.